Periscope, what's up? Greg Howes, it is Tuesday. Tuesday morning. Good morning, everybody. Mississippi is here. Good morning. Gloria. G-L-O-R-I-A. Hey, Tammy, good morning. Green Smoothie Territory. Jonathan Banks, good morning. Penny, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Wheaton, Illinois, good morning. Ethel. Memphis, Tennessee. San Francisco. Cecilia. Good morning, Terry in Philadelphia. Canada, good morning. There's the green smoothie. I knew it was coming. Maple Temple, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Kirsten, good morning. Been missing you guys. Green sweater. Got the green smoothie and the green sweater. Washington State, good morning. Oh, the green smoothies. Boston, good morning. Baton Rouge. Down in the southern parts, Louisiana, good morning. Aerlene, good morning. Yeah, 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 come on. What to dream and what to hope for. There's Tanisha with the seaweed. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Susu, good morning. Seaweed belongs where? Belongs in the sea. I keep trying to convince you of this. Seaweed belongs in the sea. That's why they call it seaweed. Oh, we're not freezing, are we? Adrian, good morning. Denham Springs, Louisiana. Muncie, Indiana. Mm. We got Louisiana and Indiana. Minneapolis. Your youthful shape. <laughs> your youthful shape. You're maintaining your youthful shape. Uh, oh, it's freezing outside. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Green smoothies help you keep your youthful shape. Okay, then. All righty. Seaweed from Trader Joe's. Okay. Oh. I'm praying y'all strengthen the Lord. God help these folk. <laughs> Drinking green stuff, eating seaweed. Lord help us. Help us. Bolingbrook, good morning. Good morning. Come on, come on. Talk some sense into us. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, I'm not ready for it either. Where's the coffee? Come on, get get the coffee going here. Where's where's Marlena with the coffee? Come on, Marlena. Let's get the coffee brewing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. God bless you guys. Love you. Appreciate you. I'm Greg Howes. This is Leader Scope. Welcome this morning. Glad that you are here. And um, want to invite those of you in, the, in our area to come out tomorrow evening, Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. We have our midweek session here at Cornerstone, a caramel latte. Okay, that's, that's going a little bit better. All right, the hot tea is gone. There's the coffee. All right, all right, all right. Meldred, good morning. Good morning, good morning. So yeah, tomorrow evening, 7 p.m., we have our midweek session at Cornerstone. It's going to be good. We would love to have you come and check it out. 2919 Chicago Road in South Chicago Heights, Illinois, 7 p.m. Wednesday night and every Sunday at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. Dervita's at the gym working out. Oh, Lord. Okay. Good. Amen. Get that exercise in. Asiago cheese bagel. Mm, okay. All right. All right. At least it's not green. You guys eating and drinking all this green stuff. Lord help us. Okay. This is life. <laughs> yeah. You were listening to the sermon on Sunday, huh? This is life. What you eat. Exercise. Uh, what else was it? Balancing work and play. Um, getting plenty of rest. 
Healthy relationships. This is life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Dubai. Good afternoon in Dubai. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oatmeal. All right. Okay. Okay. Come on now. Let's move. Let's move here. We got to move. We got to move. You guys are distracting me. <laughs> You're distracting me. Uh, the speech to the children. It was okay. It was okay. We did well. I, I really did talk to them about uh, peer pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Peer pressure. So uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 33. So check it out. All right. Um, bridge building. You know, a lot of times we're spending too much time building walls and, and God really wants us to be bridge builders, to be building bridges that people can cross over from one side to another, building bridges in relationships. God has called us to be bridge builders. The success of your future depends on what you're doing right now. Check that out one more time. The, the, the success of your future depends on what you're doing right now. The success of your 2018 depends on what you are accomplishing, what you are planning, what you're laying in place right now. And your future is in your heart. Your future is already inside of you. Your future is based in your heart. And every step you take in the will of God is revealing and opening up your future so that you can see it clearly, you can understand it clearly, and you can live in it clearly. Your future, the success of your future, depends on what you are doing right now, what you're doing right now. Now, when you consider bridges in the natural realm, like uh, bridges in New York City, the Golden State Bridge in San Francisco, uh, we have bridges over the Chicago River here in Chicago. Whenever you consider a natural physical bridge, those bridges serve a great purpose for the journey. And those bridges are never hidden. They are never hidden. They're always out in the open and they're always obvious. A bridge is present to assist a traveler in making their journey easier and shorter to get from one side of a river to the other side of a river or from one side of a gap or a gorge to the other side of the gap or a valley. So we're moving from one side to the other and the bridge is present to make our journey easier and to make it shorter or quicker. We have a bridge so we don't have to go all the way around. We can just cross over the bridge. Here's something else about a bridge. A bridge will connect you to a place, it will connect you to people, it will connect you to a position, and a bridge will connect you to purpose. Those are all P words. Let's do that again. A bridge will always connect you to a place, to people, to a position, and to purpose. That's what a bridge will do. Now, we have a spiritual bridge in Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 5 and 6, the scripture says, For there is one God, and there is one mediator, or one bridge, between God and man. Jesus is the bridge between God and man. The man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all. So when Jesus chose to become a mediator, according to the purpose of his father, he was the go-between between God and us. He was the intercessor between God and us. His sacrifice on the cross bridged the gap. When Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead, he bridged the gap between us 
sinful human beings and God, who is a holy, righteous, pure God. The great gulf was crossed through Jesus Christ. So now we move from a position of confusion and emptiness in life over to a position of understanding and fullness and wisdom and knowledge and understanding and power in life. And Jesus is the bridge that takes us from the confusion and emptiness into the place of understanding and fullness. He is that bridge. When we cross over that bridge to God's side of things, we also become sons and daughters. We become sons and daughters of the Most High God. And sons and daughters are never left alone on their journey. For the Lord himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He is our bridge on the journey. And he has given us the Holy Spirit to be our companion on the journey. Jesus is the bridge. So it is Jesus in the Spirit. It is Jesus who connects us to a place, to people, to positions, and to purpose. Jesus is the bridge that takes us into all four of those things. Now, I, I want you to understand that you are also a bridge. Not only is Jesus the bridge, but you are. You are a bridge. You're a bridge that others see. Remember, I said a bridge is never hidden. A bridge is out in the open. A bridge is obvious. So if you are a bridge, you are not hidden. Your life is not hidden. You're out there in the open where other people can see you and they can see your life, where people can watch how you handle the issues of life. So people can see how you manage the problems of life, the challenges of life. So people can see how you deal with potential offenses. So people can examine that and see it and learn from it. You are living a noteworthy life. That means people are watching how you live and they're taking notes off of your life. They're taking notes off of your life. Yes, they are. So our decisions, our efforts, our attitudes, our words, our behavior, it's always sending messages, always sending messages. And our lives will either attract people, we'll pull people toward us, or our lives will repel people. Our lives will encourage people or our lives will discourage people. And so I want to encourage us as we are finishing up 2017, November and December, that we would concentrate on our, 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 uh, our bridge, how our bridge has been built, and what needs to be done in ways of maintenance on our bridge. To, in other words, to make sure that our bridge is in good working order. Because we are going to be significant bridges in 2018. When you look around at all of the difficulties going on in our culture, the racial upheaval, the racial challenges among us, uh, some economic issues, the fears, the concerns, the anxieties that people are living with, violence in the land, the streets of Chicago daily filled with violence, the Las Vegas massacre uh, just a couple of days ago, the, the church shooting in Texas, all these different aspects of life that are stirring up fears in people, anxieties in people, 
in 2018, we must realize that God has called us to be a bridge. We are the bridge between an ungodly culture and the presence of God. So make sure that your bridge is in good working order. So that means you've got to check out the foundation of your bridge. Check out the foundation, the bedrock, the foundation. What is your bridge built upon? And then you've got to give attention to the maintenance of your bridge, the support structures of your bridge, the connecting pieces of your bridge. Are those, are those parts of your life healthy? Are they whole? Or are they in need of repair? You see, everything left to itself is going to deteriorate. Need to write that down somewhere. Everything left to itself will deteriorate. When things start to, dis to dis uh, deteriorate, excuse me, when things begin to deteriorate, then we're going to be experiencing disorganization. We're going to experience randomness. And we're going to experience increased chaos. We, we cannot afford to leave things to themselves. Whether that be circumstances in our lives, our children, our spouses, ministries, businesses, whatever it is that you have your hands on. You cannot afford to leave it to itself because if you leave it to itself, it is going to deteriorate and you're going to be left with increased chaos. So as we're finishing up 2017, I want us to consider how we are building and managing our personal lives, this bridge that we are building, who we are building with, consider that, who are you building with? How are you maintaining forward advancement for the work that needs to be done? And consider how you're being an example, how you are being an ambassador of God to lost people in this world. You are the bridge. You are the bridge. So consider that with me, would you? As we finish up 2017, going into 2018, Let's consider these things that God has imparted into our lives. Come on, say it with me. I am a bridge builder. I am a bridge builder. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The Lord is with us. He's opening up doors in front of us today. He's providing us with opportunities. God, listen. God is giving you opportunities today. Those opportunities are opening up in front of you, just like a door opening up in front of you. You have divine connections coming into your life. You have divine resources coming into your life. You have favor with God and man. That favor is attracting every resource you need to build your bridge. Be encouraged today. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I'll talk to you soon.